This is 10 News. You're looking at brand new video of police breaking up a fight involving dozens of students attending summer school at Hoover High School. Four teens were stabbed and one was arrested. And that violent scene erupted near campus just this afternoon. Our tenders reporter Matt Boone joins us now on the story. And Matt, police say the fight might have started over a girl. Yes, Steve, investigators are still trying to figure the exact cause, but that's what I heard from some witnesses who say this is the parking lot where earlier today a bunch of students gathered after summer school ended at Hoover High. Now this apartment building, somebody who lived inside came out to check out what the commotion was and he started taking video. A neighbor captures the moment as police come to break up the brawl. You see this push back? A group of high school students show us video they shot of the hectic fight. They were running to the gas station over there by Fremont. To keep fighting? Yeah. Sophomore Lorena Huerta Sanchez says she had just gotten out of summer school classes when a large crowd started gathering across the street. Quickly, a fight erupted. They started jumping and then all I seen was a guy running back saying that he got stabbed. I saw bleeding on the floor. Some of the crowd ran down the street where another scuffle broke out. Stabbing people, they were Hoover just... Hoover student fighting. Brianna Gonzalez says the fight had been planned in advance on Facebook. And Monday there was a rumble and then uh, that's how everybody knew. And we thought like they weren't, we knew that they were still going to fight. Investigators say it may have been sparked by an incident last week. Lorena says that fight had a simple explanation. I remember on Monday it started out because of some girl. And after that, like every every day, it was just like there was a fight. So far, only one person has been arrested, a 20 year old man who was not a current student at Hoover High School. Now, the school is staffed during the summer with one district police officer, but a district spokeswoman says after today's event, they plan on increasing those patrols. Live in City Heights, Matt Boone, 10 News.